So let's say you just installed WordPress for the very first time on a brand new blog and you're ready to dive in and get started with creating your content, repurposing your videos into blog posts. I hope you're doing that. But if you just installed WordPress's 2020 theme, it probably doesn't look the way that you want it to. And that's totally fine. It's easy to customize and make it look your own with your own branding and your own personal style. That's exactly what we're gonna cover in today's video. My name is Meredith Marsh and you're watching the VidProMom YouTube channel and usually I'm creating videos to teach you how to create better videos so that you can grow your audience and income online using YouTube. But just as important as creating videos for you YouTube to grow your audience and income is creating blog content and turning your videos into blog posts. So if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I created a step-by-step -step blog setup checklist for you, which you can download by hitting the link down in the description. So let's dive into customizing that 2020 WordPress theme and get your blog looking good. Okay, now as you remember from installing WordPress and getting it set up with our hosting in the previous videos of the blog setup series, our site doesn't look that great. We don't have any content here and it's kind of ugly. So we're going to head over to the dashboard. So I'm going to hit dashboard in the top left and we're going to come to the back end of WordPress. And from here on the left hand side, there's a menu. You're going to uh, hit appearance. And then from there, you're going to go to themes. Now WordPress will install with some default themes already there for you. They have a new theme for every year. So we have 2016, 2017, we have 2020 installed right now. And that's the theme that we're going to customize and tweak today so that we can upload our logo and get some pages up here and have it look like a real working site. And one of the first things we need to do, you'll notice that this theme needs to be updated. So just like we keep our WordPress software up to date, we need to keep the theme up to date too. So we're going to hit update. And once that's done, we're going to hit that blue customize button. And this is going to open up a whole new menu. Now, you're probably going to want to do this on your desktop or a laptop with a large screen instead of a tablet or something because you're going to want to make changes and then see what those look like. So the bigger your screen for this, really the easier it's going to be for you. So you can see on the left hand side, we have a menu over here. It says you're customizing VidPro Hero. So that makes sense. And this is an active theme, but none of the changes that we make to this theme as we make changes here, um, none of those will be live on the site until we hit publish at the very top. So it's really important to pay attention to that and make sure that when you are ready for things to be saved, that you hit that publish button or else the changes that you make won't actually be there. So we're going to start right here at the top of this menu with site identity. We're going to hit that, open it up. And this is where we can change out our logo. So you don't have to have a logo. You can see up here uh, behind these little edit buttons, you can see it just says VidPro Hero. It's the name of the site. You can have that too. You don't have to have a logo, but I'm going to hit the select logo button. And then I'm going to drag one of my files over here from the logo that I created um, over at placeit.net. So this is what it looks like. I do want my alt text to be VidPro Hero and we're going to hit select. It's asking us to crop this. So we're just going to crop this a little bit, something like that. And now we have a logo on our site. And the next option down is the tagline. And I already mentioned that I'm not a big fan of taglines. So I might just delete this, but you could say create awesome videos or whatever your tagline happens to be. I'm just not a big fan of taglines in my branding. So I'm going to just remove it. The next thing is a site icon and that's the icon. It's ca called a favicon or favicon. And that's the icon that would show up here. If you can see in the upper left hand side, um, it's what would show up in the tab of the browser. And this is definitely isn't necessary, but it can be tricky to create one of these. Sometimes you can just use your logo. So it'll give us this preview of how it's going to look up here. I would 
rather just have this, um, I don't know, just the camera or something, but we're, we'll hit skip cropping and it'll be there and we'll, we'll just deal with that for now. So we're going to hit this little back button here. So our site identity is taken care of. Now we definitely need to look at these colors because I'm not feeling this background color at all. As a matter of fact, I think I'd rather just have it be white. So I'm going to hit select color here and I'm going to choose white and the header and footer background color is also going to be white. So the footer is this part right here where it says copyright 2020 WordPress. If I change this, then you can see how this is the header. So your logo, your menu, the search, that is all your header. And then this is the footer. And so that's what this color represents here. So if you change it, it'll change both of these. So I think I'm just going to hit white for both. And we'll keep our primary color to default for now. I'm going to hit back. And now remember, again, these changes are not live on our site yet because we have not selected this publish button here. So just keep that in mind. Don't X out of this thinking that everything is hunky dory because it's not. So we're going to hit theme options. And this is where you can make some decisions. Um, if you want to have this search thing in the header, you can have it there. If you uncheck it, then it won't be there anymore. Um, author bio, I think I'm going to uncheck that for right now. And um, on the archive pages, posts, show, this is going to be hard to kind of explain because we don't have any posts on our site yet. So we'll just leave it for the default for right now. And don't forget, you can come in here and change these things any time. So nothing is set in stone. You can always go back and retweak things. Just keep everything default if you want to um, and retweak everything a little bit later. Um, for example, I don't really have a background image to use, so I'm not going to use a background image. We're just going to leave this the way that it is. So we're not going to customize the cover template at this point or upload a background image. Now menus is something we definitely want to talk about. So up here at the top, this is your menu. And normally on a site, you would have some of the more popular categories or pages on the site. You wouldn't normally have your disclaimer and privacy policy and terms and conditions, but that's just what's there by default. We don't actually have a created custom menu yet. So why don't we just go ahead and do that? We're going to hit create new menu. We're going to give it a name. I always name it main navigation for the menu that's at the top, main navigation. And then we choose the location. So we have desktop, horizontal menu, desktop, expanded menu, mobile menu, footer menu, social menu. So we're going to choose desktop, horizontal menu, choose next. And now you can see that all of those links that were up here by default are gone now because now they've been replaced by this menu that we're going to create. So it doesn't have any items in it yet. So we're going to choose items. We're going to have, let's see, we'll have a home link there and then maybe we'll also have about as well and since we don't have any posts on our site I don't have any posts that I could choose from and those would be like a blog post an article we do have some categories set up already and so what I can do is add action cameras and GoPro to this menu here and what will happen then is if I publish a blog post and I put it in the category for GoPro then when someone hits GoPro in the menu over here it'll show all of the posts that are in that category and we also do not have tags right now so we're good to go with our menu as it is right now. And I'm just going to hit this back button here so we can see what it looks like. So we have the home button. We have about VidPro Hero. We have action cameras and we have GoPro. That's all we have for now. We don't really need any more because we're just getting started and we don't have any content on the site at all. So coming down under widgets, we have, uh, so in the footer area, so down here by default, we have the 
um, copyright, which is great. That's what we need there. But we have some opportunities to add some other stuff that WordPress refers to as a widget. So I'm going to hit this add widget button. And these are like little add-ons that make it really easy to customize certain sections of your WordPress theme. And all themes are different when it comes to exactly where you can add a widget. But this particular theme gives you the option to have two different parts of your footer where you can add some widgets. We don't really have much to add down here because we don't have any posts or anything like that. But we could put a search bar down there. And then we could actually remove the search bar from our menu. Where was it? Um, theme options. Yeah, we'll uncheck this. There. Now we have a search bar in the footer. And that'll be good. We can do search vid pro hero. Eh, that's a little too big. I don't like that. We're just going to not give it a title, which is fine. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. And then on the other side of the footer, we could do some text and we can say, welcome to vid pro hero. This site is brand new, but keep, uh, but stay tuned for more to come in the future. So you could just add a little bit of text down there. And if you wanted it to have a title, then it would have a title at the top like that. But I'm not going to have that there. I'm just going to leave it just like this. And then we have home page settings. So right now our home page is set to display just any of our latest blog posts. We don't have any blog posts yet. We'll get to that, but we don't really have anything there. So right now it doesn't really matter what you put for your home page. But if you want to, you can actually create a home page with a WordPress page. And if you do that, you would select from here exactly what that home page should be. So right now I just have a couple of just quick things on the about page. So I can leave my about page to be the home page. And I think maybe we'll do that for now since so we'll have something there and it doesn't look completely empty. And then we'll go back now. And if I hit publish, then all of these changes are going to be published on the site and they will be there. So I'm going to X out of this and I'm going to hit visit site. We'll open up a brand new tab. And now this is what our site looks like. So we can scroll down. You can see I'm not a big fan of this like red ish color. Now we have this home button. We have about VidPro Hero, which is also the home page at this point. And then we have action cameras and we have GoPro as a category. And again, we don't have any posts there, so you can't really see what that's going to look like. So from here, as long as you're logged into WordPress and you're looking at your site, you have this uh, dashboard bar up here at the top, you could always just hit customize and it will take you back to this menu here where you can customize everything here. So um, go in and play with these. Don't be afraid to make some changes because you can always change it back and you can always um, even switch to a new theme. You can upload new themes. You can actually buy a premium theme and upload that and use a premium theme. Um, but for just getting started, I think just keeping it simple and focusing on creating your content is probably going to be the best option. So we're going to get to the posts in just a second. But first, I want to just show you this additional CSS option. Now, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. 
And it's basically the code that tells the website how to look, like what the colors are and what fonts there should be. And this is really way more advanced than what we need for this tutorial, but that's what that is there, just in case you are wondering. And one thing I want to do in here is just open up this colors again. And instead of using the default for this primary color, I'm gonna choose custom. And we are going to fix this like red looking stuff to something just a little bit mm, different, maybe blue, something like that. I'm just not a fan of the red. So now I'm gonna hit publish and we're gonna hit the X here and go back. And I don't wanna leave you hanging here. So what we need to do is actually go back to our dashboard and come down to posts and I'm going to, let's see, it looks like I started a post called GoPro cameras and I'm going to open this up. It's not public. It says it's draft. So it's not published as a blog post yet, but maybe there's enough of it here that we can publish it so we can see what it looks like on the front end. So I'm going to just X out of this little notification here. And it looks like I have a partially created post all about GoPro cameras. So <laughs> I have the intro and then I have some other stuff here. So I, this post is intended to be like one really long comprehensive um, article really explaining every single GoPro camera like ever. Um, and so it's obviously not done yet, but what we're going to do is hit publish. And before we do that, we're going to go to document categories, make sure that it's under the GoPro category. And I'm just going to hit, uh, let's give it a featured image. So I'm going to have to upload something. I guess we'll just use this one for now. So I'm going to upload this, just drag it in here. So once that's uploaded, we're going to hit set featured image and that'll give us an image at the top once we publish it. And that's really all I'm going to do for right now. So we're going to hit publish up here at the top. Um, and yeah, that's good to go. So we're going to hit publish here and we're going to hit preview and that'll open us up in a separate window here so we can see what this looks like. So here on, this is the post page. So we have our featured image here at the top. We have our title here at the top. This is the category that it's in. We have the author, comments, the date, and then there is the actual text. Now this is just a fake comment. This is like here by default. Um, we can go in and delete that and actually remove all comments from the whole site. But this is what it looks like. So from our home page again, we still have this about page. And then we have, if we click GoPro, this will show us all of the posts within that GoPro category which we only have the one of. Hey, congratulations. You now have a blog set up. It's live. People can see it. And it probably looks pretty good now that you've customized your 2020 WordPress theme. So don't forget about the checklist that I mentioned earlier, the step-by-step -step blog setup checklist, because I have gone through all of these steps over the last couple videos here on this channel to make sure that your blog is set up properly so it gets picked up by the search engines and you haven't missed anything because down the road, once your blog posts do start getting picked up by Google, you're gonna wanna make sure everything is set up correctly. So you can download that through the link down in the description below. And I hope this step-by-step -step blogging setup series was helpful for you. Don't forget, I am normally here teaching you how to create videos that you can grow your audience and income online. So make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go and let me know how I can support you in your YouTube video content blogging journey. I wanna hear from you in the comments.